In 2007, a peculiar series of photographs was captured, depicting a scenario that seemed to defy the natural order, the featured predator appeared forlorn, while its fellow captive exuded an almost protective demeanor, the wolf had endured months of starvation in its cramped enclosure, and when its captor introduced an aged donkey into the space, the canine instinctively responded in the only way it knew how, despite being just 25 miles northwest of Albania's capital, Tirana, the village of. Haddock is situated in a wild and remote region within the county of Legit, known for its breathtaking beaches and mountains, the rugged landscape of the area supports a diverse range of wildlife, wild boars, jackals, foxes, bears, and wolves roam the hills outside Paddock. In the past, Black's hunting regulations contributed to a decline in the numbers of many of Albania's native species, however. With the enforcement of stricter hunting laws at the turn of the century, the wolf population has been on. The rise, presently, approximately 250 protected grey wolves inhabit the Republic of Albania, one of Europe's most secluded countries. Despite this positive trend, the species still faces various threats to its survival in the wild. Regrettably, in some instances, human activities contribute to the damage and peril faced by these wolves. Such a situation unfolded in January 2007 when an anonymous resident of Paddock encountered a solitary wolf in the nearby mountains, for reasons unknown, the villager made the decision to capture the wild animal, perhaps they saw the captured wolf as a potential status symbol or conversation piece, alternatively, there might have been plans to sell the majestic creature, regardless of the villager's motivation, they chose to take the beautiful beast back to Paddock with them, however, lacking a suitable place to house the creature, the villagers confined it to a small enclosure, providing no space for the wild animal to roam freely, consequently, the wolf had no means to hunt for itself. Wolves are formidable carnivores that can catch and kill their prey either in packs, working collaboratively, or individually, they possess the ability to hunt various animals, with large mammals being a particular favorite, lone wolves have even been known to take down bison, to maintain their health, wolves need an average of almost 4 pounds of meat daily, growing young wolves require 3 times this amount. Despite being capable of enduring periods without food, the Albanian wolves. Captor found himself needing a substantial supply of meat for the starving pet in April 2007, a local donkey that had been exploited by its owners in Paddock for years became the potential solution, the donkey's owners, along with the wolf's captor, saw an opportunity to address two issues at once, disposing of the donkey, which they deemed had served its purpose, and providing a significant meat supply for the hungry wolf however, they also hoped to provide the wolf with a few meals in the process, four months after the predator's capture, the ravenous wolf would finally have something to hunt, however, things didn't unfold as planned, when the wolf's captor placed the donkey in the canine's pen, the villagers anticipated the carnivore's instinct to kick in, contrary to expectations, the wolf didn't stalk, capture, and kill the defenseless donkey, instead, it befriended the old creature, in the cramped and dirty enclosure, under the most testing circumstances, an unlikely bond. Immediately formed between the odd couple, each animal seemed to decide that companionship was a necessity, the wolf's life appeared so lonely and miserable that he valued friendship over food, their companionship went beyond mere camaraderie, they provided each other with protection, for example, when scared, the supposedly fearsome wolf would seek refuge behind the elderly donkey. Word of their unique relationship quickly spread in the immediate area, and their story even gained coverage in. The local media, 10 days after the donkey entered the wolf's lair. Their story caught the attention of animal rights advocates, inspired by the unusual friendship but appalled by their living conditions, the activists initiated an online petition, the petition called on then-Albanian President Alfred Masoi to order the release of both beleaguered creatures, with the petition gaining prominence, the activists achieved a breakthrough within days, the captor agreed to move the donkey out of the small, Filthy enclosure, however, he then revealed a wild ambition to open a zoo, despite this new venture, he had no intention of completely freeing either captive, learning of the villagers' intent to exploit the wolf and the donkey dismayed the animal supporters, determined more than ever, we are working tirelessly for the freedom of the wolf and the relocation of both animals to a sanctuary, stay tuned for an update on their petition site, the activists, free this wolf and donkey in Albania, campaign gained global attention, 
animal lovers worldwide joined. The call to free the furry friends, and within months, over 20,000 people signed the petition to the Albanian president, with public pressure escalating, the Albanian government had no choice but to take action, the Ministry of Environment, Forests, and Water Administration contacted the captor, informing him that he was violating the law according to the government department. The villagers' actions contradicted the preservation of biodiversity, faced with an official rebuke, the captor had to abandon his zookeeper dreams and release the wolf, he set the wild animal free in a nearby wooded area, the donkey, on the other hand, found a comfortable home in a lush green pasture both the wolf and the donkey got the happy ending they deserved, unfortunately, it is unknown whether they remained friends outside of the enclosure, nevertheless, their respective releases were seen by supporters as a victory witnessed by the entire world, the activists now aimed to leverage this success to secure better animal rights for the creatures of Albania. Let's continue, snow-covered mountains, glaciers all over the wilderness, the living conditions of the frontier soldiers here are difficult, they are used to the wind and the sun, the cold winter, the living conditions, in order to improve the quality of life, soldier Awe was assigned to purchase living supplies in the town, passing through the snow-capped mountains, the highway appeared in front of his eyes, he trotted all the way and reached the town in a short time when he came back it was, Dark, at night, he patrols around the outpost, he has nothing to do and looks into the distance, the snow-capped mountains and the night complement each other, forming a beautiful picture, just as he was intoxicated, there was a humming sound in the grass beside the road, driven by curiosity, he pushed aside the grass, what came into view were a few, pups, waiting to be fed, there is a hint of innocence in the eyes of the puppies, a ways kind is born spontaneously, he brought the, puppy, back to the, Post, under the illumination of the lights, an experienced warrior said, these are not puppies, these are wolf cubs, hearing this, the soldiers fell into deep thought, should we raise wolves, seeing that everyone is silent, away shouted, we raise them for a while and then release them when they grow up, under the careful care of the soldiers, the wolf cubs thrive, when they grew up, they not only accompanied the soldiers on guard, but also scared away the enemy in an attack, what's the matter, how wolf? Cubs and warriors live in harmony, do wolves really know how to repay their kindness, let's take a look at today's story, explore the past of this, warrior and wolf, the Black Rock Mountain is 800 kilometers long and 240 kilometers wide, the average altitude here is about 5,500 meters, the air is thin, bitter cold in winter, is the norm here, the border guards at the outpost shoulder a heavy mission, they are willing to give their all for the cause of border defense, they are not afraid of danger, not afraid of sad the winter here is hard but the summer is very comfortable due to high altitude the summer here is pleasant and cool spring is the season of revival and vitality the arrival of summer makes people who live here very happy in summer the vicinity of the outpost will be extremely lively warriors occasionally meet wolves the wolf is not only a protected animal but also an animal with a strong desire to attack. Soldiers on the border can only drive them away and cannot injure them, this annoys them. Fighters, tonight, it's a ways turn to be on duty, he and a few comrades walked back and forth by the outpost, suddenly, there was a whining sound in the grass beside the road, out of curiosity, he leaned down to check, because of the dark sky at that time, they could not see the appearance of the animals clearly, these are puppies, they should have been abandoned, the soldier next to him said, as soon as the voice fell, the soldiers echoed, when changing shifts, several soldiers came to the dormitory, they put the puppies under the light, these are not puppies, these are wolf cubs, a seasoned warrior said, hearing this, the soldiers were puzzled at this time, they had the same question in their hearts, should we raise wolves, at the same time under the illumination of the light, several wolf cubs slowly opened their eyes, they stand up, fluffy, so cute, seeing this, away suggested, they are very cute, we will keep them temporarily and release them when they grow up, no problem, I think it's okay, under. The discussion of the soldiers, the group of wolf cubs stayed in the outpost, living conditions at border posts are poor, they seldom eat meat on weekdays, and even the rice is stuffed with raw, in order for wolf cubs to thrive, the cookhouse specializes in cooking rice for wolf cubs in a pressure cooker, but they can't just eat rice, soldiers will share some of the meat sent from home for them to eat, in this way, the wolf cubs are getting bigger and bigger, they will also play with the soldiers later. 
Two female wolves appeared at the gate of the outpost from time to time. The female wolf just watches from afar and never initiates an attack. One day, the little wolf cubs were playing at the gate of the outpost, the mother wolf called, and the cubs immediately ran to follow the sound the pups have not returned since then. The soldiers had expected this day long ago, so they didn't care on this day. Wei was once again assigned to the town to purchase supplies when he came back. He found five or six wolves staring at him, he touched his belt subconsciously, away. Thought, I didn't bring a weapon, what should I do, while he was still thinking, wolves surrounded him, he closed his eyes, waiting for the sentence of death, however, a minute later, the wolves did not attack, they lick his cheeks with their tongues, away is very suspicious now, what exactly is going on, seeing that the wolves didn't make any further moves, away got up and rushed towards the outpost along the way. The wolves followed closely behind, Away successfully entered the checkpoint at night. Away chats with his comrades, he casually brought up the topic, therefore, they have expressed that they have experienced this, the experienced soldier said, this is the pack of wolves we raised, wolves know how to repay their kindness, several soldiers explain their views, some people think that the wolf is here to repay the favor, while others think it is a coincidence, since then, Wolves have often haunted the gate of the post. Kind soldiers will throw a few sausages, wolves will devour it, then they do the work of sentry, with their backs to the soldiers. During several months of getting along, the soldiers found that the wolves were very friendly to them, wolves don't respond even to petting their heads. Later, the relationship between the warrior and the wolf sublimated, whether it is cold or hot, as long as a team goes out on patrol, the wolves will escort them not far away during training on weekdays. The wolves will stay far away, they're like sentry guards, one day, when away was. Discussing this matter with the monitor of the cooking class. The monitor explained animals have emotions too, wolves have the spirit of perseverance and are very specific when you save them, you get their approval, at this moment, in their hearts, the warriors in the outpost are qualified to lead them, hearing this, away nodded with a half understanding, then he started eating steamed buns, one huge danger at the outpost is the ice cave, there is not enough snow in summer. It is easy to find, but in winter, snow and ice accumulate, ice caves are concealed, more. Importantly, ice caves are harder to see due to the rugged terrain of the mountains. In normal work, soldiers need to be tied together with rope, they are separated by 5 meters, only in this way, the fighters who fell into the ice hole in front will not affect the fighters behind, the rest of the fighters have a chance to rescue him, with wolves, that all changes, they are agile and have a keen sense of smell on every patrol. The wolves lead the way, every time they find an ice hole, they will. Scratch out a mark with their paws, with their help, the risk of soldiers being injured is much smaller, but one day, an accident happened, wolf accidentally fell into a hole in the ice while exploring the way, there are sharp ice spikes in the hole, a wolf will surely die if it falls into it, the snow is slippery, and the body of the wolf keeps sinking, its fur has been shattered by ice spikes, seeing this, the soldiers, not afraid of danger, slid over and pulled the wolf out with a rope, after. Arriving at the outpost, the soldiers hurriedly applied medicine to the wolf, in the end they managed to save the wolf back, one day, a warrior goes to the glacier to fetch water, the soldier accidentally fell into the water due to the thin ice, the river was freezing cold and the warrior lost consciousness in his lower body, but he still didn't give up, he shouted desperately, hoping to attract the attention of others, in fact, a few minutes ago, the wolf discovered that the soldier fell into the river, at this moment, it is galloping here with the soldiers of the outpost, afterwards, the man who fell into the water contracted a cold but he was saved, the border line has always been uneasy, and smuggling often occur, sentinels guard the border line while preventing stowaways from entering, stowaways are reckless and often carry lethal weapons, this is a serious threat to the lives of the sentinels, with wolves, that all changes, wolves build dens around border defenses, as long as there is someone smuggling, the Wolves will decisively rush forward to stop, nowadays, this group of wolves entrenched around the outpost has become a nightmare for stowaways, under the keen sense of smell and hearing of the wolves, stowaways can't get in, not even a fly can cross the borderline, the behavior of the wolves has attracted the attention of the enemy, they wonder, how did the soldiers train these wolves, they stand guard day and night, it's unbelievable, in order to master the technique of taming wolves, the enemy wants, to figure out what's going on, one night, 
a team of enemy frontier soldiers lurked in, they stopped at the foot of the snowy slope near the wolves, making plans silently, they thought they were unaware but a way has already discovered the strangeness, a way wanted to observe the movement first, but considering that the wolves would be injured, he pressed the alarm after a while, the soldiers at the outpost entered a state of combat readiness, through infrared telescope away and the squad leader, discovered the sneaky figures of enemy soldiers but what confuses them is that weird smiles appeared on the faces of away and the monitor it turned out that they were not the only ones who spotted the enemy soldiers the wolves also spotted the enemy soldiers early they are waiting for an opportunity waiting for enemy soldiers to approach after the enemy soldiers approached the wolves quickly attacked dozens of wolves surrounded the forest seeing this the enemy soldiers were frightened and dropped their helmets and armor. Their screams resounded through the mountains. Today's story ends here. Click to subscribe for more interesting stories. Wild animals and humans live under the same blue sky, however. Wild animals that rarely come into contact with humans will definitely stay away subconsciously after encountering humans because they know the destruction of some habitats and the killing of some wild animals are all due to humans. They are afraid of humans, but some animals still choose to seek help from nearby humans. When they are in danger, aren't they afraid of being hurt by humans again? There is such a female wolf, she kept crying, and kept getting closer to the man in front of her. The female wolf did not attack the man, instead, we can clearly find, her eyes are full of helplessness. Man realizes the female wolf is in trouble. What happened? When you show love and kindness to wild animals, they know very well who is helping them. They will even reward those who help them with their own unique behaviors. Animals are born with a keen sense of observation whether you are sad happy angry sad they can clearly perceive human emotions although they can't express in words they can tell by the tone of your voice animals also have the ability to predict danger so they can all survive in this cruel nature they are agile and can quickly sense whether danger is approaching wildlife is a very amazing species a man had a magical story with a female wolf many people think that wolves are ferocious in fact the Wolf is a kind of spiritual animal, they live in the cold places, they will not yield in the face of extremely bad weather, striving to survive is their mission, wolf is a pack animal, super high teamwork ability allows them to have a place in this nature of the jungle, the important thing is that the wolf is a grateful animal, when a partner is in a dangerous place, as long as it has energy, it will also try its best to help its partners out of trouble, from this point of view, we need to learn from. Wolves, the story takes place on Cooper Island. Alaska in 1941, it's a quiet and peaceful place, a surprising story happened, adding a warm atmosphere to the island. Joseph is a local resident, there is a very famous river on this island, because gold has been dug out of this river, but the river hasn't been dug up for gold in a long time. Joseph wanted to try his luck, so he decided to go. Other villagers told him to be careful of the wolves on the nearby mountains, because it's the time of the wolves on this day, Joseph set off with his equipment. Although this winter is about to pass, the cold wind blowing on face is still bitter, Joseph tightened his neckline and continued on his way, he prayed in his heart that he would not meet the wolves this time, he wants to go back safely, after a short walk, Joseph arrived at his destination, after well prepared, he is ready to start a big fight, in the wild in winter, except for the whistling wind. There is only silence. A little bit of noise can be heard clearly. Joseph put his equipment aside, ready to look for a starting point along the river. While he was concentrating, movement in the grass behind a tree caught his attention. Did he really meet a wolf? Joseph suddenly became terrified. He started getting nervous, but he waited for a long time. The wolf did not rush out from the grass. This movement is still going on. Joseph has no intention of digging for gold. He just wants to find out what's in the grass. Joseph tried his best to restrain his inner fear, he moved lightly, approaching the grass. He pushed through the grass and looked, here is a wolf, Joseph was frightened by the sudden appearance of a wolf and sat on the ground, his legs became heavy and he couldn't move, we don't know if it's because of the cold weather, or because of the fear of the wolf in front of him, Joseph's body trembled uncontrollably, Joseph calmed down and found, the wolf didn't jump at him, take a closer look. This wolf has milk on its body. This is a female wolf. The wolf could not stop weeping. There are tears in its eyes. Eyes full of helplessness. This female wolf looks like just gave birth. Newborn wolf cubs are generally thinner. The mother wolf will not leave her cubs easily. But Joseph looked around. 
but found no trace of the little wolf cub. Joseph is confused. The female wolf in front of him is exhausted. Its eyes no longer have the ferocity that a wolf should possess. But why did this wolf appear beside Joseph? Is this all a coincidence? After a while, the female wolf turned around and wanted to leave as she walked into the snow. She looked back at Joseph, as if asking for something from him. Joseph understood what the wolf meant. The purpose of the female wolf approaching Joseph is to ask him for help. There is no sign of cubs nearby. This female wolf probably took the risk to get close to humans for the sake of her children. It took a lot of courage. It may even be killed by hunters. Joseph followed closely behind the female wolf. Walking in the snow, I don't know how much time has passed, their tracks. Spread for miles in the forest, fortunately, Joseph found scattered small paw prints on the path by the swamp, this looks like it was left by wolf cubs, looks like they're not far from the cubs waiting to be rescued, suddenly the female wolf stopped under a huge spruce tree, Joseph approached the spruce tree cautiously, as expected, several little wolf cubs are shivering and huddling together, they hug each other in the nest, the little wolf cub seems to have been hungry for a long time, his body is, Thin and weak when he saw his mother coming, he could only make a slight cry for mouth, Joseph looked at the poor wolf cub in front of him, he suddenly remembered that he had encountered a frozen deer on the way up the mountain, if the deer can be brought to the wolf and her cubs, these cubs are sure to get a good meal, or at least not starve to death, after all such a cold environment for a weak female wolf. Hunting must be very difficult, Joseph comforted the female wolf and told her about it, the female wolf seemed to understand Joseph's words, and stayed quietly with her child, Joseph didn't dare to delay too long, turned around and left, after a while, Joseph dragged his exhausted body, and put the frozen deer in front of the she-wolf, the female wolf looked at the food in front of her, and hurriedly tore off a small piece which in turn fed to its own children, wait until the children are full before eating slowly, Joseph looked at the outpouring of its maternal love, he is very moved, he lamented that the maternal love of animals is great, female wolf risked being hunted to get close to humans for her children, Joseph overcame his fear to help the wolf, whether it is the great maternal love of animals, or human beings kind deeds to protect wild animals, this is worthy of our praise, seemingly ferocious animals are full of love in their hearts, Joseph and the female wolf do not speak the same language, but they achieve salvation through each other's move, all things have spirits, and all animals have their own ways of communicating, Emotions, humans and animals live together in nature, so they should help and care for each other, but there are still people who are greedy for profit and kill animals wantonly, they will be punished, we should join hands and appeal to all around us, let's do our part to protect animals.